What's up guys, Brian from The Brokeographers here and I'm really excited because UPS just dropped off all this stuff for us to open up for you guys. Alright guys, so let's get started with the boring stuff first. This one actually came to us directly from B&H. And we'll see what we get from here. Pro photo on the box. And this is a speed ring adapter um, for Pro Photo, brown color. And we need this because our larger Pro Photo modifiers, especially like the 1x6 strip, um, things like the 1x6 strip don't work well with um, Pro Photo's own B1 or any larger uh, modifier because of its forward firing um, sort of its forward firing flash head because it's recessed so um, it doesn't fill larger soft boxes as well as something with an exposed flash tube can. Um, in our testing we found that at least with the 1x6 strip um, from the center to the edge there's about a one and a half to one and two thirds stop fall off um, of light from the center of the one by six strip to the edges with a Profoto B1. Um, so hopefully with other lights, um, it'll be able to fill something like a four by six soft box or um, even our, our Ellen Chrome Deep Octa and our one by six strip um, from Profoto a lot better. All right, the second thing we have for you guys um, in this unboxing is, well, this one came to us directly from Brown Color. And I think I have an idea of what it is, but we'll see. So what I noticed, actually, um, it's sufficient, but what I've noticed from Braun Color in ordering some things from them in the past, like our pair and everything, is that their packaging is a little uh, different. Not not super um, protected, but it, I guess does it does the job. So this is the Pulso um, adapter for the Para 88 and the Para 133, um, or I guess any of the Paras really. Um, we have one of these and I think we have, I don't know if I have it with me, but we have the Pro Photo one as well. Um, so I'm sure <laughs> I've given it away a little bit as to what's in the big box with um, all of these bronze color specific uh, accessories, but um, the exciting stuff is coming. So this actually gets to mount right onto the uh, um, focusing rod for um, the para. And uh, it'll actually work with another exciting light shaping tool that we found actually, which is the Parabolics. Check them out at paraboliclight.com. Um, they do almost exactly the same thing as the much, much more expensive brown color paras do and uh, for, for a much more affordable price. And if, I, I think if you just save up, um, you'll be able to uh, get the same quality of light as you can from whoa, as you can from uh, as you can from the brown color pairs. So let's move on to the next big thing, which is actually really exciting for me. All right, guys. Now we've gotten to the fun stuff. Um, this is the big boy right here. So we'll see what's in this box. Well, you probably know already from the video title should be pretty exciting. The box actually itself is pretty heavy, about 50 pounds, which is not super heavy, but it's not very light either. Okay, let's tip this onto its front. Let's see how we can get this out. Oh God. All right, here we go. 
Oh, I hope nothing tips over. Okay, all this stuff is out. So it looks like it all came in one big box. And I'm not sure what side is up, but let's uh, let's pick one. I'm assuming since there's a lith lithium battery label on this side that this is the one that we're gonna wanna open. This is the side we're gonna wanna open first. All right, so what's in here? <laughs> Can't believe we actually got this. <clears throat> First thing, it's a uh, brown color two foot soft box. Oh boy. And that's what was in this box. It is the brown color um, 1200L or move 1200L uh, two head or outdoor outdoor location kit two, which comes with two heads and um, we'll see what else is in this bag right now. So I'm gonna get started and open the soft box that comes with the kit. Um, as I mentioned before, we ordered the outdoor uh, kit two, which includes two lighting heads or two, sorry, mobile LED heads. Um, a soft box and a umbrella. So it comes in a nice, nice bag. Everything else, everything is packaged, um, I guess individually. So everything's got its place. Looks like the rods are already installed. Uh, this is the diffuser for the brown color. Comes in a nice little black bag. There's something else in here. Oh, silica powder or silica gel. Okay, so that is that. Um, got the, both the inner and the outer diffuser. Um, I'm hoping the, the speed ring is not in this bag, but I am hoping that it's in the trolley bag. Um, the rods are already installed, I guess. Um, Yep, all the rods are in there. Put, throw this back in the bag, or actually, I'll just leave it out. Put it over here. And the meat and potatoes. So let me uh, change the camera angle and we'll see how all the stuff is packed in here. All right, so this is the trolley bag that comes with uh, both, actually all three of the move pack and head kits. Um, it can hold the pack two heads, um, accessories. Looks like it's a really nice, well-built bag. It's got roller wheels on it. And wow, all right. So we have the umbrella that the, uh, the kit comes with. The speed ring here, which um, actually also comes in its own bag, which is actually kind of cool. So let's take a look at the speed ring really quick. Speed ring is um, needs to be really well built. Has a sort of Ellen Chrome texture on the, uh, the inner of the ring right here. It's not really like dimpled like the Profoto Magnum. It's sort of um, just a random, almost like leather-ish texture. Um, it's got color coded. Uh, indicators right here, I guess, which is similar to the Profoto RFI, which you can see right here. So they're really similar. Um, not sure what, uh, this one, the RFI for brown color seems to be a little bit deeper, but I don't know what effect, if any, that'll have on anything. So this is the speed ring. I have no idea what's in here. I'm assuming maybe the sync cord. All right, cool. Sync cord, um, power adapter. I'm assuming that's for the, the charger. Um, I think this is the adapter for the 
continuous, yeah, the continuous light adapter. So this thing can actually plug into the uh, charger and you can use one of these, oh my God, these are beautiful. <laughs> you can use one of the uh, brown color mobile LED heads um, directly off of the, let me unwrap this right here. You can use one of these heads, plug it in here, sort of like a, uh, I'm assuming it goes like this some way. Never used brown color before. Oh, like this. All right. So these snap together. You can plug this directly into the charger and use the 10 or sorry, 30 watt modeling lamp off of the mobile LED heads as a sort of video light and use those just indefinitely. On, uh, on battery power, they will run for two hours, I think. And so that's how this comes off. All right. So this little bag had the infamous brown color red sink cord. Um, the adapter or the, the power cord for the charger and uh, the continuous light adapter for the, for the mobile LED heads, which actually come with every kit. So this looks like it's the charger. Nice, uh, I don't know, charger standard. It's nothing really special about it other than it says brown color, which probably makes it cost 10 times more than it should. <laughs> uh, this looks like the RFS transmitter. I think it comes in a nice little hard case, actually. And there's the transmitter. The mobile LED heads actually already have RFS 2 this is, oh, okay. Yeah, it is the transmitter. All right. Comes with a little extra sync cord, battery, and the RFS 2.1 uh, transmitter. So all the lights are also independently controllable via the Braun control app, um, as well as remotely through this uh, transmitter. What's actually good about this versus the Profoto ones is that it's just a simple trigger, um, but it can send everything over Wi-Fi through the Braun Control app or this to remotely control your lights. The, actually no, sorry, the Profoto Air controller does the same thing. And that one you can use with Fuji, with any other brand. You just, um, the TTL specific ones for Canon and Nikon are the ones that work with the B1s and B2s uh, to do TTL and uh, high speed sync and all that. And yeah, so here is one of the mobile LED heads, which I, what's actually pretty cool about this, it has this sort of uh, tilt head, um, sort of like a pan and tilt uh, head for your tripod. Has a built-in reflector. I don't know how these come off. I hope I don't break anything. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> um, the, right here, it's, this is actually protection for, you know, transport protection, but it also serves as a sort of built-in uh, reflector. I'm not sure what the spread is on these, um, but they are removable. Oh my God, I hope I don't break the dome. So these reflectors are little travel reflectors. They're removable. Um, and yeah, they're nice and well-built, little plastic stuff on the outside. And here is the mobile LED head. There's two of them in this kit. Here's the other one. Let me get this back on here. Uh, these are essentially the same as the Litos or Lytos heads from Braun Color. The only, um, I guess, difference being that these have a LED modeling lamp in there. And again, those can be run for two hours on battery power or indefinitely with the continuous light adapter. So here's one of the heads. Uh, they have a little power switch on the back. Fuse, I'm assuming. And the uh, brown color blue accent right here. The heads are actually pretty light at about three and a half pounds. So a little more heavier than a Profoto B2 head. I'm not sure exactly how much those weigh off the top of my head, but they are heavier. 
comes with the spare fuse right here. Uh, going back to the B2, sorry. They are, uh, they are a little bit heavier, but you can still put these on like a light stand or a painter's pole or anything with a fairly light modifier and be able to use them on the run or on the go. This is, I don't know what was supposed to be in here. There's a strap. I'm assuming this is for the power pack. There's a bag here for the battery. So I can't turn it on yet because Broncolor recommends charging it fully before you turn on the unit, but I'll save that for an overview of the actual Move 1200L power pack. So here we can check the charge. Actually it looks like it's about a third charge. There's three indicator li lights here. Uh, the charging port, the check, I guess power, how much power is left in the battery. So I will be charging this and coming back with another video. And this is the, I think this bag and the trolley bag are, uh, are weatherproof but I'm not entirely sure. I will have to check and I will get back with that in the next video where we do a little overview. Brown color, silver interior umbrella. Standard umbrella looks like it has, I think the eight millimeter thing. I don't know. Plasticky, relatively small. Now, if you can see all that, but I don't know, it's a nice umbrella. Not the biggest fan of brown color modifiers. Um, Profoto and Ellen Chrome stuff are probably my favorite, but they threw this in and, I don't know, can't complain. Putting this back in. And let's get to the pack. Exciting part, the power of this whole thing. That is the move pack. This is the trolley bag again. It's got pockets. What is this? I missed something. Okay, it's just another strap. <clears throat> trolley bag's really nice, nice and heavy. Um, they're not super heavy, but it's well built. Um, I know there's been some complaints about the durability of this bag. The bag is actually pretty cool because, whoa, it spins nice and easily, first of all. But it's got this these little straps so you can turn it into a backpack and when everything's packed up it's actually going to be pretty heavy so i plan on actually getting all of this stuff into a production manager 40 or 50 by think tank and hopefully uh, we can get one of those for all of our lighting kit but that is the bag and let's get on to the pack right here comes with little um the strap is inside the, the bag over there, but it comes with, you know, I think this is weatherproof, it comes with little hooks for the strap. Oh, the strap is here. So this is the strap for this bag. The pack and uh, bat with the battery in it actually isn't too heavy. I think the pack itself weighs about 13 pounds. I'm not sure if that's with the, oh, that has to be with the battery. That pack is actually fairly heavy. So when you add the battery, um, where did I put it? Anyway, when you put the battery in it, it doesn't add too much weight. It's actually a lithium ion battery and it's pretty light. So this is the move pack. It is beautiful, as beautiful as I thought it would be. Um, so yeah, it's got nice buttons. I know some people don't really like the buttons on packs, but um, coming from uh, Einstein's and um, the Profoto stuff, Profoto stuff has dials. Um, it's nice and quick, uh, but with these uh, buttons, I, I haven't tested them yet, but we'll see how it works. Um, it should be fairly quick. I'm used to the Einstein's and those are, those are quick enough and I haven't really been waiting um, in conjunction with the Braun Control app, should uh, be able to be really speedy with this thing once we learn how to use it. But there's all the buttons, pack is nice and light. I think the 
backpack again. It itself weighs about 12 or 13 pounds. Slip the battery in there, it doesn't add too much weight. Fan cooled, little uh, battery release. Two, two light heads, or two, two outputs, sorry. Um, 1200 watt seconds or 1200 joules of total power output. Uh, completely asymmetrical. You can route it all to one head if you want, which should help tremendously with overpowering the sun. Um, I think that's about it. Probably talked way too much about this stuff, uh, but we will be going over it a little bit more in depth uh, when we get to test it and get to start using it. So I um, want to thank Broncolor for getting this to us fairly quickly. Um, b &H for facilitating the order and um, yeah check us out on Instagram uh, facebook.com slash the brokeographers instagram.com slash the brokeographers and at the brokeographers.com which is our website we have a lot of um, well we're working on getting a lot of uh, reviews and um, uh, hands-on impressions on some more high-end stuff and we're really excited to be bringing a normal, uh, unsponsored uh, opinion on a lot of this high-end stuff. So um, if you like what you saw, if you like anything on our Instagram, drop by, uh, subscribe, follow, check out our website. And we will be back with a review once this thing is all charged up and see how everything works. Thank you for watching. See you guys.